Right, so this is a video uh, explaining a workaround for some of the annoying things that can happen in Camtasia. Uh, for example, when I first started trying to use Camtasia, I discovered that when I tried to record something, I would just get a black screen and with the audio, but you know, it was literally you play it back and it was just a black screen, which is pretty useless. And I later discovered that I couldn't record my system audio and the microphone audio at the same time, the system audio being what would normally come out in speakers. Uh, there was a common workaround for this, but that required like going into oh, what's called stereo mix and making it listen to your microphone. So it would record your microphone and play it back through the system audio, which you rec could record that, but then you'd have to listen to yourself and that was annoying, didn't want to deal with that. So I couldn't record them both at the same time and I couldn't record my screen properly. So I just thought the universe was against me and everything hated me. But I found a workaround which was to basically uninstall DivX. And uh, if you don't know what DivX is, it looks like this. This is the logo. This is the website. And it's just basically a codec to play a certain type of video which is nice but you don't really need it so if you go to add or remove add or remove programs and you're gonna have to uninstall DivX and it would usually be in the D's of course but I've already uninstalled it so you won't see it but you would highlight DivX and uh, click uninstall and you would want to tick everything you want to uninstall everything in DivX obviously don't uninstall everything here because that would be stupid but yeah, you want to uninstall every single component of DivX. And uh, if you use DivX a lot, then you can download Xvid as a good replacement. Uh, you would just go to this address here and download whatever you need. And that will do the same thing as DivX. Uh, after I uninstalled it, everything started to work. I could record my screen, I could record audio and the screen at the same time. It was just, I fixed everything. It just worked. It's a bit random. I don't really know why DivX causes the problem, not really looked into it, but it screws something up. So if you're having the problem with getting the black screen but with audio, or with being able to re not record the system audio and the microphone audio at the same time, try uninstalling DivX, that might work.